Hey, this is Adam Torres, and I'm here to tell you that it has never been easier to start your very own podcast. At Mission Matters, our goal is to amplify stories that matter. That means we want to help you start your podcast because your story matters. We can do this in three different ways. One, join our podcast school and take a free or paid course. Two, visit our resources page where we've already figured out what you need, such as where to host your podcast. Or three, heck, we can even do everything for you through our podcast agency, including editing for cheaper than you can do in-house. Oh, and no contracts, services month to month. Get started by heading over to missionmatters.com and click on Start a Podcast. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Money Podcast, your source for all things money. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Lori Gervais on the line, and she's a certified financial planner and financial advisor over at Baird. She's also author of Pass It On, Transferring Wealth, Wisdom, and Financial Smarts to Future Generations. Lori, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. All right, Lori, so uh, uh, I'm excited to get into today's topic, and for all my audience, for those that are just joining us for the first time, if you haven't been listening for a long time, you don't know this, but I love helping authors sell books. So we're going to talk about this book today, Pass It On, and definitely want everyone listening to this to go and pick up a copy. Um, But before we get into the book, Lori, I do want to talk a little bit more about what you're doing over at Baird. So kick it off by telling us a little bit more about your company, please. Sure, I'd be happy to. Well, for nearly 20 years now, I've been continuing to help families make informed decisions about their money. Much of my day and passion is focused on helping families maintain their own financial independence and managing their investments and financial plan, ensuring that their children have the financial literacy they need to take on the great responsibility of inheriting wealth. So, Lori, at the end of this, um, I'm going to give you an opportunity to leave contact information so that, you know, the people that it makes sense for can follow up and learn more about what you're doing. But I do want to make sure that the right types of individuals and or organizations connect with you. Um, What's typically a good fit to work with Baird? Um, Typically, our clients have in the neighborhood of 2 to 20 million in investable assets. Those are the folks that tend to have the same concerns and really lean to us for those conversations and helping them with the financial planning and investment management. It's uh, much more complex, and so I would say that would be the arena that we work with. That's awesome, and uh, I think that's a great transition. So let's dive. Let's just dive right into this book. So pass it on. Transform, transferring wealth, wisdom, and financial smarts to future generations. I mean, first off, great title for the book. Um, what What was the inspiration for this? You know, we we had this trigger moment uh, not that long ago, a couple of years ago. There was a person in our life that we cared about that all of a sudden it was announced it was diagnosed that he had an aggressive form of cancer. And this person was a major influencer in our lives. He was similar age, he had children similar ages to ours. Our whole community rallied around him. And unfortunately, he did pass away only a matter of months later. And that just shook us to the core. My husband and I, we just said, oh my goodness, you know, what if one of us or even both of us were not here? You know, we began to think about all the things that we still wanted to tell our children. There just all of a sudden became this new urgency to make sure that that was buttoned up in our minds, you know, that we could share with them everything we know, all our expertise regarding managing money, transferring wealth. You know, what are, what is our value? How do we feel uh, the purpose of money? You know, what that really means to our family. And we just really wanted to transfer all that and get it all down on paper in a book. Oh, I love it. And uh, to me, I, it's, it's a big deal. Legacy, writing a book, getting your words out there um, to, you know, for future generations, to me, it's a big deal. And I know uh, for my audience, I'm always telling them about, you know, how they should write books and do things, but I'm biased, right? Because I'm a publisher. So I, I get that and they get that. But I love having a, an author on here who's just going through this experience themselves that's not related to us and what we do. So what do you find, you know, after, now that you're on the other side, the other side of releasing this book, I mean, just tell me, like, how do you 
you feel? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, there's a huge weight off my shoulders. I, I can't believe we accomplished this. I mean, as you know, it takes a long time, uh, several revisions to get this right and just really get that message out. And now we're just very excited to get the actual message out and that people can read this and they can gather these nuggets of wisdom for their own families. It's very exciting. No, oh, man, that, that is exciting. Um, so I, I want to go through a little bit more, go a little bit deeper into the book. So, you know, there's only so much we can cover in a 15 minute podcast episode, obviously, but, um, I do want to give the audience a flavor of what to expect when they pick up a copy and read this. Share with us a story or a lesson from the book that kind of just sticks out to you. Um, I would say one of the biggest things a lot of folks when they think of financial books, they might immediately be going to all the technical, thinking, eh, not my cup of tea. But, I mean, yes, we have technical information in this book, but really a large part of this is transferring knowledge, transferring values, transferring family history, family stories, how the wealth was built, getting your children to understand the value of money, the importance of money, how your family feel that, you know, what the purpose is for money within your family. And so much, I mean, when I think about the book, there's a, there's a piece of it that's all the technical background to get your kids educated, but at least three quarters of this is much more of sharing nuggets and stories of the way families have done things right, the way things have been challenging for other families, different biases uh, to be aware of. And just that it's much more about getting that underlying value system there for your kids. So I want, I, I, I got to get specific, Lori. Give me an example. Um, an example would be we have in here, for instance, how you can write a family vision for your family, either uh, formally or informally, but it talks through samples of everything from the Rockefellers to everyday Joe's and just give you ideas of how you can talk to your kids. But it also gives other nuggets about how to incorporate financial training, if you will, um, throughout all ages, kids ages 5 to 55, how you can be talking to your kids about money. How can you give them lessons of accountability? And here's one example for maybe, let's say this is a, a teenage kid, where, you know, just a sample of what you can be doing with them is say they have a hockey tournament that weekend, you shell out the $100 for the weekend and you say, all right, it's up to you, manage that on your own for the weekend. And they're going to have to deal with how to cover all their food, all the different fees that go into the arcade, whatever they're doing. But in the book, we have several different scenarios, you know, like that, where we hone in and just talk about here is something you can do to help your kids become accountable, help train them while they're younger when, you know, the, the penalties aren't so bad. Because mm -hmm. in our in our business, where I talk a lot in the book about raising kids, like I said, anywhere from 5 to 55, you know, a lot of it is trying to help them when they're younger. But we're talking about that with passion because in our professional business, so much of our expertise is working with people who – their kids are 60 years old or 45 years old. And so they're at the phase where they feel they didn't educate them enough or they worry that they're going to fritter away their inheritance. You know, that's what I witness in my everyday profession. And so we're writing the book to help that not be the case, you know, help people educate their kids all throughout. And it's never too late. I do want to make sure that I make that clear it's never too late to be talking with them. They could be 55 years old and you can still be talking to them about the purpose of money and your vision for it. But because it's, it's this uh, connection between the fact that we have young kids at home and so we're in that integral moment of the teaching and the training, but it's in my professional career that I see the worry and the scare that those folks have that have already built the wealth and now they're worried that their kid, quote unquote kids are going to fritter it away. So we're tying the two together and making sure we ha we're helping people have that smooth transition. 
Oh, that's awesome, Lori. Well, um, I could talk to you all day about this book and about books because I love it. I love publishing. I love helping people get their message out there. But we're about out of time on this episode. So final question. So two-part question. Um, if somebody wants to learn more about Baird and connecting with you and your team, um, how do they do that? And number two, how do people pick up the book? Yeah, no problem. I think the number one way to get a hold of us or check things out of what we're doing over at Baird would be to go to our website, gervaiswealthmanagement.com. They can also go to our business Facebook page or simply reach out via email if they want to. Um, how to pick up the book starting on the launch date, October 20th. It'll be on Amazon. Fantastic. Well, Lori, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about your background and all the great work that you're doing over at Baird. And congrats again on the new book. Pass it on. Um, for everybody listening, go pick up a copy of that. It's, uh, it's awesome. And uh, we love to support our authors on this show. So definitely go pick up a book. Um, pass it on. Transferring Wealth, Wisdom, and Financial Smarts to Future Generations. Really easy to find on Amazon. Um, and uh, don't forget, if it's your first time listening, hit the subscribe button. Love to have you be a repeat listener or if you're watching this on our youtube channel mission matters money definitely give us a subscribe there leave us some comments on the video love to interact with you there and uh, take the conversation over to our youtube community and Lori, thanks again for coming on the show thanks a lot for having me